Hello and welcome to another beautiful episode of WooCommerce with React. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn about how to go ahead and write the queries for updating the cart. So, so in the previous video, we learned about adding to the cart, like so. And we also looked at how we can update the cart, like so right there's a query goes now we just look look at the query okay so what we're gonna do is we'll go to our WordPress backend where we have our WordPress installed with WooCommerce and we also have our WP GraphQL WP GraphQL WooCommerce plugin and the graphical plugin installed so first of all let's go ahead and add items to the cart so in the previous episodes I have explained to you how you can actually do that so what we're going to do is so the first thing we're going to do is we'll take the mutation for add to cart input so I'm just going to copy the query to save time I've already explained all of this in the previous episodes I'm going to go to my graphical just put that there and I need to put the input for that so I'm going to pass the qu query variables in the input over here like so okay so I'm giving my client mutation ID product ID and quantity so I'm adding that to the cart if I hit it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some items to the cart so I'm going to copy the mutation for add to cart save time I already explained this earlier and then we're going to pass the input variables which is your client mutation ID product ID and quantity over here and then just hit it and as you can see one item has been added to the cart with the ID of 27 okay uh, let's add one more so now I have two items added to the cart with a total of two and the price is 36 pounds and uh, now I'm going to add one more item with a different product ID so let's change this to 28 and hit it I've got that item added as well I'm going to get the cart values so I'm going to put the so I'm going to put the cart query which is get cart and now you'll be able to see that I have the product ID with with the I have the product with the ID of 27 with quantity of 2 then I have 28 with the quantity of 1 and in total it's 55 right awesome now next thing is that we want to update the cart. So currently I have around three items in the cart and I want to update it. So for that we have another query and that query is called we have another mutation and that mutation is called update item quantities. If you want to be able to see that you can actually come over here and you can search for update cart. So you can see this is the update item quantities the root mutation you can pass an input inside of input it asks you for the client mutation ID and the items in items you need the key which is the cart item key and you also want the quantity okay so these are all information that you need so let's do that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this query so I'm going to copy this mutation and then paste it here and I just want to show you what this is so you can see the root mutation is update item quantities it takes input with the type of update item quantities input and here it's going to return to me the item key, product ID all of this information gallery images variation all of that stuff right okay and it's also going to tell me whether the it's updated or it's actually removed so what is the situation with that item is it removed or is it updated so so in this case we are updating it so it should return as updated uh, now you're going to pass inside of input you're going to pass whichever item you want to update so in this case I want to be I want to up, go ahead and put the client mutation ID which is going to be unique and I need to put all of the items that I want to update in form of an array now if I want to update only one item I just need to uh, you know put the one item details which is its cart key and the quantity okay so when we actually add the item in the cart uh, we actually get the cart key in return so we're going to save that information uh, when we 
do the get card query uh, into our local storage or in the context API and then whenever we are actually wanting to update the cart we would need this key for that particular item so th for example there are four items uh, in the cart uh, those four items of the same type need, would have a unique key ID if there are other three items uh, which are different then they will have a different uh, key cart key okay that's how we are able to track it that's how we are able to update them or delete them okay so I want to be able to uh, you know remove it so for what I have to do is I have to paste this first over here now I want to be able to update the cart with that information so I want to have that ID let's say I want to update this product so I will copy this ID I'll paste it here and I want to change the quantity to let's say four so currently it's two I believe right it's two let's change it to four let's update it so in return it's going to tell me okay this is the product and it's going to go ahead and give me information about whether it's removed or updated if this was removed I would get the uh, the information inside of removed but since this is updated I'm not only getting the key but also the product etc okay and I'm also getting the information that now it's updated to 4 okay you can see it's updated to 4 because I said that change it to 4 and automatically it's calculating the price and everything so I don't really need to worry about what the price will be okay awesome now if I try to uh, get the cart information so I can do get cart query so I'll just copy it and paste it and I hit it there you go so you can see now this product quantity has become 4 and the previous product which we didn't do anything with still is 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 and our total has also been changed so the total has become 91 now okay so that's brilliant uh, what if we want to go ahead and uh, remove the item okay let's say I want to remove only one item from the cart what happens then well the best part is that you can use the same mutation however all you have to do is where you're passing the quantity as 4 you, or whatever number that is you need to pass 0 so let's try that out okay so what I'm going to do is so what I'm going to do is I'll go back again for the mutation for updating the cart I'm going to take it copy it paste it here and again it's you need to pass some inputs so client mutation ID which will be unique ID and it's, it's going to need the item key right okay let's close the Explorer so which item do you want to delete so let's say I want to delete the one f which is for 19 pounds and that's going to be with the product ID 28 now I'm not I'm least worried about what that product ID what I'm interested is in the key okay so I have the card key here all I have to do is paste it okay and then I just need to update the quantity uh, to zero and if I did that it's going to remove it and remember earlier we got updated this time it will be removed okay so come over here and there you go you can see that the updated is empty now which was filled earlier because we did update it but this time we have the information in removed because the item is removed so this is the product ID that we asked for to be removed and with the help of its uh, card key and that has been removed now right now if I go ahead and fetch so now if I go ahead and just do get cart So now if I just do get cart, what do you expect to happen? Well, of course, I should not have that item with the ID of, um, or the one which is for 19 pounds, the one item, right? I should only have four items now, earlier there were five. So let's see, there you go. So you can see that you've got the product ID 27, only four item and nothing else. It's the same one, okay? The, the one item that we deleted is no longer there. 
Now the question becomes, what if I want to delete the entire card? What happens then? Well, the, luckily we do have another mutation available, which will help me delete the, all of the inf all of the uh, you know card data. So how do we do that? Okay, just before we move on to that, just want to show you that if you want to update multiple items, you just need to pass those card keys and you can update their quantities together. So it doesn't have to be one item at a time, you can actually update multiple items as well. So to remove the item, you need to use mutation remove item from the card, okay, which is this mutation right here, remove items from the card, okay. And in the input, you need to pass all to be true. If you set all to be true, it means that delete all the items from the card and of course you need to pass the client mutation ID which will be unique. Okay, so paste it, take it, paste it here, hit it. What do you expect? Everything should go off, right? So it it tells me that these items have been removed from the card and there are four items that were there that would have been removed. Now if I hit it again, I should not get anything because it says no items remove in, uh, items in the card to remove because you've already removed it right so there's nothing in the card now amazing brilliant so I think that, that was pretty much it and uh, that's what we've implemented on the front end that's how this you know card is being updated you can see that you know you can increase the quantity you can decrease it uh, so all of this information is happening over here if you want to clear the card you can just clear it as well okay so in the next video, we're going to discuss about how, how we've impl implemented this in the code. Uh, so far, we know about how to use these queries in graphical. Graphical, as you can see, that it's a very, very useful tool because it lets you know uh, about the outcome of your query. If you're making any mistakes, you get errors, uh, you get highlighted uh, things also. So these things are very useful. Okay, brilliant. So uh, what I'm going to do now is. So if you did like the video, please do please give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is QueryTech. Um, and also, uh, if you would like to have the code for this, you can just go to Imran at Sayyad Wu next and uh, make sure you star it. And also follow me on GitHub by hitting this button right here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.